Hello everyone, today I have a haul from L3 Waxy Wonders to share with you. Um, this was from the last RTS restock that they had. It was the loaf of Palooza. I only picked up one loaf, but I did pick up several other things and I think these are all new to me since, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm in my back room again today, so I don't know. The birds are super loud outside, so I don't know if you can hear them, and I hope you don't mind the humidifier in the background, but it's just easier to do it back here when my kids are home. Um, for the videos I have to record tomorrow, they'll be at school, so I'll be able to do those in the regular spot. It is much brighter back here, though, so anyway. Um, that, that was a tangent. Um, I got a mini lollipop and I got a, oh my goodness, I almost threw it across the room. I got a blue scoopable spoonchilla. Um, I do have a blue one. I have this one already, but it's really pretty. And then... The sticker says, setting goals is the first step to turning the invisible into visible. Tony Robbins. Okay. I'm just going to reach in and pull out because I didn't even take the packing peanuts out or anything. So, um, the first thing I see is the scoopable that I picked up and it's one of the four ounce scoopables in Witch Bitch. This is Palo Santo Hint of Book Smoke from the Black Flame Candle, Oud, and a touch of Sweet Vanilla. I don't know if I just overlooked this one before. I'm not sure why I haven't tried this before, but obviously I had to pick up this one. Oh, that smells really good. I just put lotion on my hands while well, it's um unscented so it's not going to affect the scent but i feel like i don't want to touch the wax but i'm going to i'm going to warm it up so i can smell it a little bit better oh yeah i really like that um I'm trying to see what i get the most of but i think i'm getting a pretty equal amount of everything on cold That smells really good. I don't get too much of the books. So on cold at least, that really is just a hint of books, but we'll see what it does on warm. This smells pretty strong already. Sometimes scoops are super light on cold, but this one actually smells pretty strong, but that smells really good. I'm glad I grabbed that one. Okay, what else? Oh, I did grab, like I said, one loaf. And I grabbed this one because of, oh my gosh, what's her name? Ashley, Ashley Overly, I think is her name. Um, if you guys haven't seen her video, she's on YouTube and she hyped this scent up a good bit. So I wanted to pick it up. Usually I don't buy things in loaves unless I've tried them before and love them. Um, well, actually, that's not true. Sometimes I buy things in loaves because I just think I'm going to love them, and then I usually do. But I don't buy a ton of loaves. But I had to pick up this one, and it's pumpkin seeds, oud, amber noir, and tonka bean. I think she said she got this one in the, like, Christmas advent. Was it the Christmas advent? I think so. But she I, th I believe this is the one that she said was her favorite, favorite, and she just absolutely loved it. So... It sounded like something I would love also, so I wanted to pick it up. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm gonna pop it out of the bag here. Oh yeah, I like that. Um, I think I get the Amber Noir first. Let me um, actually pop it out of the tin. That's really good. I definitely do get, what is it, pumpkin seeds and oud. Yeah, the pumpkin seeds and oud. 
I've had that in a few things before and I'm definitely getting that in the Amber Noir. And I think I am getting the Tonka Bean in there. This is really pretty. It's like earthy, but perfumey, but like a sultry, kind of dark perfumey. That's really nice. I'm glad I grabbed that one. So thank you, Ashley, for <laughs> talking about that one. Because otherwise, I mean, it's scents that I would like, but I probably wouldn't have grabbed it in a loaf if I hadn't seen her talk about it. So happy to have that. Okay, I think the rest are buns, if I remember correctly. I'm really trying to stick to shapes that I love, that I know I like from L3. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't do the samples. We'll go over those at the end. Um, I love the buns. They're my favorite shape. I like the loaves. I just don't buy a whole lot of loaves. I like the Bitty Betty loaves and I like scoopables. Those are my favorites. So I'm trying to stick to them. Sometimes it's hard to resist the puppy packs just because there might be a scent that I want to try in the puppy packs that's not offered in something else, but I'm really trying to stick to just these because even like the fluted tarts aren't my favorite. I'm not a, the biggest fan of the trig tarts. The bougie bars are okay. Um, but yeah, these are my favorite shapes. So let's see. I think most, if not all of these are from Angela's customs. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> Here I go again. What is her YouTube channel for the love of wax? I think, um, on Instagram, she's wax melts BFF. I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about, but she did a custom order with L3 and a lot of them were like in memory of her grandma and grandpa. Um, and they sounded really good to me. So I think, like I said, most, if not all of these are from her customs. Um, they don't have the names on them that she gave them, but it just has the notes. So the first one is peppermint, vanilla, butter, fudge, buttermint. I think this was the one she called, I think this is please don't twirl me. Is that what it was called for her grandma? Mm, I love that. Oh my goodness, that's really good. I definitely get the peppermint first. I really like L3's peppermint. There goes my cat again, trying to get in the room. Okay, I let him in and he's probably gonna want right back out, but <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Oh, I really like um, L3's peppermint. I've come to find and it's just so good mixed with the buttermint and that vanilla butter fudge. It's still like a really strong peppermint, but it does have this like creaminess to it. Ugh, this is like something that I want to eat. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, I can't wait to melt that. Okay. And I feel like this is probably like good to go because I think Angela's customs were a couple weeks ago. So that should be, that should be okay to melt or at least try some of, but I don't know. I might let it sit for a little bit. Um, the next one is black sea plum tart fig and rhubarb. I forget what she called this one, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this one was for her grandpa. really nice. <laughs> I was a little nervous about this one because I just wasn't sure, like, I wasn't sure how all of these notes were going to go together, but they really do. I love Black Sea. <sighs> That's so good and it's like so interesting. That's really nice. Yeah, I'm just, this one's kind of um, addictive to my nose. You get the plum and the fig and rhubarb note. Oh my gosh, Jonathan. And I do feel like from that plum tart, there's like a little bit of a like pastry or 
bakery kind of note but it still like blends super well with everything else that's beautiful I feel like that's one that L3 should name and offer regularly <laughs> that's really nice Ugh, okay so far so good I'm super happy with this order um I don't know why I, I need to like move things back further I always have them like halfway off the screen anyway this next one I don't know if this one was one of Angela's since now that I'm looking at it I'm not sure this might have just been a random one but this is tobacco roasted coffee vanilla sandalwood oh my gosh I need to <laughs> I need to remember that I don't like the roasted coffee hmm the roasted coffee is like that perm solution coffee to me, but it might be okay on warm. We'll see. I am picking up on the vanilla sandalwood a little bit. I don't know how much of the tobacco I'm getting. I was hoping that would be like the front note and then the other things would kind of, I was hoping it would be tobacco, vanilla sandalwood, roasted coffee, like in that order. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting a little bit of the tobacco the more I smell it. Yeah, this might be nice. I don't know, I just don't like that coffee note and I need to remember that. I always think it's the espresso I don't like. Maybe it's both of them, but this is perm solution coffee. But I'll still try it and it might surprise me on warm. Okay, I think there's just two more bunt packs and then we'll do the samples. Um, okay, so the first one, I know these two were Angela's Customs. So this one is Rosemary Mint Green Tea and Warm Vanilla Sugar. That just sounded really interesting. Again, I love Rosemary Mint, I love green tea, and I wanted to see how they were going to blend with the Warm Vanilla Sugar. really nicely <laughs> that is really good so I actually feel like the green tea is the first note I get I was expecting it to be rosemary mint I think the green tea's first and then the rosemary mint and then that warm vanilla sugar is in the background but it does add this like warm vanilla note to it yeah that's good This is like a clean kitchen kind of melt. So basically an any day melt for me because I have to clean the kitchen every day or I have terrible anxiety. But anyway, that is a really nice, really nice mixture. And then the last one I picked up is Barbershop 1920s Pink Sugar Peony Blush and Suede. Um, again, this sounded like a really interesting mixture that I would enjoy and that I never would have thought to blend together. That's nice too. So I will say I don't get much of the Barbershop 1920s on hold. But again, that could come out more on warm. It's in there. I can smell it, but I'm mostly getting the pink sugar and the peony blush and suede, which I love also. So this is really pretty. Yeah, it's like really pretty with a touch of masculine. I mean, if you consider Barbershop 1920s masculine, kind of just like that creamy clean fresh kind of scent yeah this is really nice oh there it is <laughs> I'm starting to get the barbershop 1920s a little bit more so yeah I definitely think that's gonna come out on warm that's beautiful 
Ugh, and these definitely, like, especially this one, it does kind of, like, it's kind of comforting. Um, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but that's kind of a comforting blend, as well as the Black Sea Plum Tart one, um, and even, like, the Peppermint Vanilla Butter Fudge, or Vanilla Fudge Butter, no, Vanilla Butter Fudge. Um, they're very like comforting to me and I don't know why because obviously I don't have <laughs> like a connection to these scents but they are very comforting um I love all of those so let's get I'm just gonna sit this on the top of oh, there let's get into there we go the samples that I got there's three samples here as per usual. Okay. So the first one I see is a cute little gummy bear guy. He's cute. And the scent is caramel apple pumpkin pecan waffles. Today is October 3rd. That sounds good. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I get the caramel apple first. And here he is for a closer look at him. He's cute. Yeah, caramel apple first. And then kind of pumpkin pecan waffles. And today is October 3rd are like blending together behind that. That's nice. It smells yummy. I've been having good luck with the samples from L3 lately. Next one is Boom Boom Warm Vanilla Sugar Blackberry. Again, that sounds really nice. And these are cute little Volkswagen bugs. Yeah, that smells good. Really pretty. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And the last one is a little scoopable in bonsai. I think I got a bonsai recently, or was a bonsai blended with something in a sample? I love bonsai though. Oh, it's so good. I just love it. <laughs> It's so like clean and fresh. Ugh, yeah, love bonsai. I look forward to melting that. Um, I don't have a ton of bonsai. I'm always worried that I'm gonna overdo it and get sick of it because I feel like I could easily overdo bonsai, but I have a blend in mind that I wanna do with bonsai. Um, I don't know, so we'll see if that comes to fruition. But anyway, I absolutely love this order. I'm happy with everything here. Um, I don't think, yeah, well, the only thing I'm worried about is the roasted coffee tobacco blend. I wish it was more tobacco, vanilla sandalwood with like a hint of coffee. And to me, it could just be because I don't like that coffee note, but to me it's very much coffee with like a tiny bit of the other things. Um, so we'll see how it goes on warm, but yeah, super happy with everything else. Um, and that obviously was my mistake because I just always forget which coffee oils I don't like from each vendor because there are some coffees that I like and I like them blended with things. So I need to remember roasted coffee from L3 is not the one. <laughs> okay guys, that's everything. Um, this was only my second order of the year so far. Um, so I'm doing okay with the low buy. I did the bathing garden order at the beginning of the month that hasn't shipped yet, I don't think. And then this order, and I did place a Teddy Bees pre-order, but that's it for January. And I'm hoping, um, to keep it super low again in February. I am kind of eyeing up the Rose Girls RTS but I'm gonna try to 
going to try to hold back. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all later. Bye.